All right, guys. Today we are doing front panard arm bushes on the Land Rover. Doesn't need to clean, so I do apologise in advance. Right. Good. So yeah, basically we are doing changing the bushes in this changing the bushes in this arm here. Basically keeps the front axle in line with the body. Jack the front of the truck up slightly. This is just on the chassis here and there on both sides. The reason I've done that, I don't want the body moving either side when I take this arm off. Obviously I want to try and keep it as straight as possible. Alright guys. Get the first bolt out. This is the driver's side. It's a 24mm nut and bolt that goes through. See if we can crack it. That's the first one out. Get that on the back there. So I wasn't as tight. There we go. Right. One out. And two out. Yeah, I would say this is a little bit dead. Shouldn't do that at all. Basically, as I was going down the road. It was a bit of playing the steering wheel. I just thought, yeah, it's typical Land Rover. You know, could turn the wheel 90 degrees and go in a straight line still. But yeah, that's. Uh, I shouldn't do that at all. Right, let's get them changed. Right. Vacated to the garage. Right, these are the new bushes. Obviously. Got to go in there. Right, <coughs> there's various ways you can do this. Luckily, I've got a bush press, which is this, and various attachments on it. And I found that a 27mm socket fits quite well. Obviously d depending on the socket brand it probably vary a bit but 27mm fits quite well just to knock the bush out. Obviously you can use a hammer you know put it in a vise hammer it out. Same with th thing with a new bush hammer it back in uh, but luckily I've got a bearing press. Got the arm in the vise. First of all we're going to heat up the outer casing to make it that little bit easier to get it out. So this is quite essential. Make sure you can get as hot as you can. Obviously I'm not using a great low torch but hopefully it'll do the job. Should do the trick. There you go. Right. And all you do, right. you need to make sure it's still warm when you're trying to hit it out.
There we go. And it's out. Oh. That's it, knackered now. Got the press in place. Oh, just to might have to fine adjust it if you have got one of these. Yeah. There we go. And once you get so far in, it will. Going straight. More spray. Sorted. One down, one to go. Right guys, all sorted. Got both bushes in. Both new bushes. Lovely. All good. Hopefully I'm then while I'm playing the steering now as well. Which is always nice. Right, let's get it back on the truck. Right, hopefully it should go back in easy enough. There's one bolt through it. go oh, and that's it we're done what we'll i do now is jack it down and test drive it if this video was helpful like and subscribe thanks for watching guys all in all the jobs took me about an hour and a half maybe two hours um can't remember what time i started but yeah as i say obviously it just depends on how bad the bushes are uh, to get out yeah, good luck with it, and I'll see you in the next one.